Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here with another fragrance review, and this fragrance was actually recommended to me by a friend, and it's from the house of Mercedes-Benz, Mercedes-Benz Select Night. Now, I will say this, I do like the bottle, it's got the cool Mercedes logo on the top, but what I really like about the bottle is how simplistic it is, how easy it is, how the cap snaps into place. Now I'm going to tell you why I do care about the bottle. The scent profile of this, if you don't already know, this is, I don't know if it's a dupe or inspired by Tom Ford and War Extreme, but it's really close. And I have another fragrance that is also inspired by it, and it's from the house of Sterling Parfums, Just Jack Noir Endurance, and the cap just kind of slides into place and like, like if you could every now and then if you do that it'll just slide right off um and the sprayer is not ideal it's it works but it's not very good um so that is actually why i said i like the bottle of this better and i 100 percent prefer the atomizer on the mercedes-benz than the just jack and i am going to compare them a little in this review so this is a spicy fragrance it's got the cardamom it's got some clean notes like uh, lavender it's woody creamy sweet from vanilla it just kind of has like this warm spicy feeling that is perfect if you want to impress somebody now the difference between these two are because i have both of them and i do find them to be quite redundant i feel like if you were to smell them up close each one this doesn't have that synthetic punch that you're going to get in the opening of um, noir extreme so in terms of the opening i would say Mercedes-Benz Select Night is probably going to be a little bit easier on the nose. So it kind of has it in both the bottle and the opening. In the dry down, they get pretty similar. I do kind of still prefer this one. Now, again, if you already have this one, they are way too similar to justify having both. If I'm going to be honest, I didn't really look this up prior to buying it. She just said, hey, this is really good. You should try it. And then I was like, oh, it's pretty inexpensive. Let me try it because, you know, if it's a glam find, that'll be fun for the channel. And I bought it. And then when I smelled it, I was like, I pretty much already have this. Um, but I do kind of prefer this one to the Just Jack. To the basic nose in the air, there's not going to be a big difference. Let's actually talk about performance. I get about, I would say between six and seven hours of performance to this. So I would say, depending on the day, it would be pretty comparable to the Just Jack. And in terms of projection, pretty close. But in the first hour, I would say this projects harder off of my skin than the Just Jack, which if I'm being honest, I didn't expect, I thought the opposite because typically our things like Sterling Parfums, it makes our moth. Typically they have a little bit better projection than a lot of other budget brands. Um, but in the first hour and a half to two hours, I get really good projection off of this. Um, and then it gets a lot closer and it, it's, it stays as kind of like an intimate scent bubble, which I'll talk about why I actually think that that's good in this fragrance later on. So performance, I would actually feel is very solid. Again, you can get up to eight hours. For me, I kind of sit more around the seven hour mark. I think anyone could wear this. I mean, it dupes something that is unisex and is for all ages. If you're super young, maybe you're not gonna like the spice in this, but if you're super young and you like spice, then you probably will like the spice in this. Let's not do an age, cause I just find it to be so silly. Um, because a lot of people that are older like sweet stuff and a lot of people that are younger like fresh stuff or dry stuff. So let's let's go ahead and stay away from that for now. I think any anyone can wear this. I don't feel like it leans in one direction or another and I think it's going to go heavily on your skin chemistry which a lot of spicy fragrances do and this is definitely a spicy fragrance. So where could you wear this? That's actually what I wanted to talk about. To me, this is an amazing date night fragrance. I would wear it to a date night. I would wear it to a formal event. Those are the two main things I would wear this to. Date night though, I think it's kind of nice. So at the beginning of the evening, when you're just kind of starting out, it's going to project. But as you guys are starting to potentially get a little bit closer, it gets closer to the skin. And I think that that's 
ideal. You don't want something screaming off of your skin. It's really gonna put people off no matter how good it smells because you don't want a punch to the nose when you're trying to sit next to somebody. It's aggressive. So I find that this actually does really well for what it does. Both of them do. I mean, I would say you're gonna be fine with either one. Um, again, I preference the scent of this one a little bit. I would say, a for me, the times that I've worn it, this one maybe has a little bit better performance than the other one, but not enough to where if you already have this, I would say dump it and get this. No, I think you're fine. Um, seasons wise, this is definitely going to be fall, winter, but I think if you're somewhere climate controlled, you could wear this at night year round. Just if you live somewhere hot and humid, exercise caution because you probably can't wear a lot of things at night because it's still hot and humid if you live somewhere where i live similar to that yeah i could wear a lot of things at night year round and like this is no exception summer nights still have a little bit of a breeze i could wear this outdoors indoors whatever i'm good um and in terms of compliments it's sweet and spicy you're gonna get compliments and it's got that vanilla and the woody undertones People really like this and I've done pretty well with it. I actually am really excited to wear it more now that we're in the fall. And I personally really like this scent profile. Um, I don't own Noir Extreme, but based on, I've never gotten a full wearing out of Noir Extreme either, by the way, but based on what people say about how long it lasts and projection and stuff, I'm not really gonna go out of my way to buy a bottle of that when I have these. I mean, they both do pretty well and it kind of sounds like they do better than that one. So price point, I got this for about $35. I'm gonna link it down below. Do I think it's worth $35? I absolutely do. And again, like I feel like the atomizer is gonna be a little bit better. Um, I think this one's like 25 or 30. I don't remember how much I got it for and I'm sure the price has changed because it's been a while. They're really similar in terms of price. If you don't have either one, I would recommend this just because I feel like the scent is a little bit better, a little bit. I don't think an average nose is really gonna pick up on too many differences. Performance is just a little bit better and the bottle and atomizer are to me way better. <laughs> I really don't enjoy this bottle style at all. And I do not at all like this atomizer. It sprays pretty poorly. It's okay, it works but you just have to spray more sprays to get the same job done. Um, where I feel like this one, you're getting more juice with each spray. Again, you can spray heavier. It's really not a big deal. If you're gonna get this one way cheaper, then go for it. I know other countries have different prices. I've noticed that recently because you guys comment on it, but for the $35 I paid for this, I am actually a really big fan. If you guys have tried this, if you've tried both specifically, let me know down below. If you guys have tried this, Tom Ford Noir Extreme, whatever you've tried, let me know down below. People read your comments and people go off of those to purchase. If you have any questions, also remember to check me out on Instagram. I answer everything, by the way. I try to answer most YouTube comments, but I don't always get the notification for all of them. I don't really know why it does that, but when I see your comment, I answer it. If I don't answer it, I didn't see it, holler at me on Instagram as always. Like this video if you liked it. Be subscribed to my channel. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop a new video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!